Hello there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now Nvidia made a really interesting demo this week showing off its RTX 3060 graphics card, of course with the RTX ray tracing in it. Well, what was so amazing about that, it wasn't running on a PC with an Intel or AMD processor in it, it was running on a PC with a MediaTek processor in it, which means it had ARM CPU cores. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. <laughs> So we're all used to uh, demos from companies like Nvidia showing off their latest technology, but until now really that's been based on Intel or AMD CPUs coupled with the graphics card from, in this case, from Nvidia. However, this latest demo is really, really interesting because it's now showing a full system without any x86 components in it. In fact, we've got Nvidia components, MediaTek chip using ARM CPUs. Let's first we'll take a quick look at the RTX 3060. So the RTX 3060 is one of Nvidia's uh, ray tracing cards. It comes with 3584 CUDA cores, clocked at 1.3 gigahertz, has 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM, and of course it's using the Ampere GPU architecture, which means it's got the second generation of ray tracing tech. Now this was coupled with a MediaTek Companion 1200, and that is basically an octa-core processor designed for things like Chromebooks. So it does actually have its own GPU, a Mali GPU in it, but that wasn't used for this demo, of course. In fact, what we've got is octa-core CPU, as I said, four Cortex-A78 cores, four Cortex-A55 cores, and of course, it's connected over PCI, which we'll talk about in a minute, to the NVIDIA card, and this is the demo. And I really like this clip here where you can look at the puddles, see the reflections in the puddles, and you can really see the power of the NVIDIA RTX technology now coupled with an ARM CPU, not an x86 CPU. So what does this mean? Well, first of all, let's talk about PCI. It seems to be a common misconception, and I've read this several times in comments under my videos, that ARM processors don't support PCI Express. Of course they do. In fact, even the Raspberry Pi 4, if you're using it as a compute module, has access to the PCI Express lanes. Cars like the Rock Pro 64, that actually came with a PCI slot on. If you look at my review here on this channel, you can see how I put a SATA card in that and was actually using SATA hard drives with uh, over PCI with the Rock Pi 4. So of course PCI exists and of course it's supported. So what this demo shows us is that NVIDIA has actually managed to port over all of its RTX drivers, all of that ray tracing drivers and the SDKs and all the other stuff that goes along with that over to Linux, first of all. So it's all running on Linux. And then not only is it running on Linux, it's running on an ARM 64 version of Linux. In fact, in this case, using the MediaTek processor as we spoke about. And the MediaTek uh, Companion 1200 supports PCI 3, and we know that the RTX 3060 will run on a PCI 4 or a PCI 3 system. We don't know at this point how many lanes there are coming out of the MediaTek chip. I would imagine there are 16 for a demo like this, but uh, that's open for discussion. What's also interesting is that the game engine they chose for this Wolfenstein Young Blood demo was actually IdTech's engine, which again shows that these engines are able to be ported over to Linux without any problem, and they're also able to be ported over to ARM-based Linux without any problem. So we have ARM-based CPUs with an ARM-based version of Linux with ARM-based drivers from NVIDIA talking over PCI Express running this demo, and it does look quite sweet. Now it's worth pointing out that nothing in the demo is currently uh, slated for any kind of commercial release. This really is just a tech demo. However, it does open up a whole bunch of questions about the future. Let's roll forward a few years and imagine now that Nvidia uh, actually owns ARM. ARM is running as an independent subsidiary of Nvidia. And Nvidia wants to rival Intel and it wants to rival AMD, not only in the data center where Nvidia were able to provide uh, solutions with ARM powered uh, CPUs and then its own GPUs for deep learning and for machine learning and for artificial intelligence kind of stuff. But also it could then move more into the desktop area where you could get complete PCs that uh, instead of having uh, 
a uh, Intel or AMD processor in it, they have an ARM processor in it, made by, even maybe by Nvidia itself, and then coupled with Nvidia's uh, graphics cards, the big graphics cards, over PCI, and then it looks like a normal PC from the outside, and yet on the inside it's a completely different beast. In fact, just like the current iMacs and the MacBooks actually look like the old iMacs and the old Mac, I'm not talking about aesthetics, I'm just talking about, you can see it's a Mac, okay? But of course now you've got an ARM-based CPU inside and not an x86 based one. So the future is the potential is amazing. And of course, one of the things that drives consumer purchasing is gaming. So if we could have in the future a version of Windows on ARM or even Linux based on uh, ARM running on an ARM uh, processor with NVIDIA graphics, Chromebooks, who knows what the combination could be. But what we can see is that today the technology exists. Now it just needs to be commercialized and the market needs to accept. And of course, market forces is a whole different question, what it wants and what it doesn't want, but the potential is there for things to head in a very, very different direction. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I hope you enjoyed this look at that very nice demo there from NVIDIA. If you did, please do give this video a thumbs up. I hope you're following me on Twitter, at Gary Explains. Also, don't forget my newsletter. Go over to GaryExplains.com. Type in your email address. You get the newsletter. No spam. And I think you'll find it interesting. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.